as I said in uh, the overview video, um, my Osprey pack or its lid acts also as a summit bag or day bag if you like. It's got uh, these straps in here. So you can use it as a bum bag. Um, you know, it's, it doesn't need to carry a lot in it, of course, for a summit bag. So at least I can carry the essentials um, when I do a side trip, which I'll hopefully, if the weather's nice, uh, a nice clear day, I'll try and summit um, Mount Ossa or Oakley or, you know, at least a temperate or something, or for any side trip really where you leave your pack on the side of the track. But so in here, keeping in mind it is my, my day. Um, side trip pack or summit pack, I keep loop paper. Uh, this is where I keep my big Gore-Tex rain jacket. Um, you know, this is a down to my knees type jacket, which is great for tazzy conditions. Uh, in, I keep my water system or water purifying system, which is a just a little soya soya filter. Let's get the thing out of here. Little soya squeeze filter. Uh, works great. And I keep a couple of these um, soft pouches here for carrying spare water if I need it. There might be days where there's a bit of a stint where just my normal little 600ml bottle doesn't cut it. So I can carry some water. Also you can carry water around camp. Um, and of course I use it to squeeze through the filter if need be. Don't normally need to in Tassie, but um, around the huts and whatnot. Um, you know, no disrespect to people that stay there, but I prefer to filter the water just in case, you know, it's contaminated with human waste. Um, yeah, blue paper, extra blue paper. Compass. I might actually take this out of there and put it in one of my side pockets in the pack. But this is my outdoor research uh, wind jacket, which I use quite a bit actually. It has a little bit of weatherproofing as well, and some seal nylon rain pants, um, which I made, uh, which I've never used. It's never been wet enough. My jacket comes down basically to my gaiters, and my gaiters are canvas anyway. But I carry it, um, you know, tazzy conditions. Wind sometimes the chill factors freezes you, so the wind jacket actually comes in quite handy. In here, again, keep everything in Cuban bags. Neck sock, neck warmer, I love it when it's freezing. Um, beanie, work beanie, that's played for the company. Uh, my first aid kit. First aid kit has compression, bandage, conforming bandage, gloves, elastoplast, one of those space blanket things, um, you know, dead old type wipes, band-aids, aqua tabs, ibuprofen, anti-inflammatories, diarrhoeas, hay fever tablets, earplugs. Pretty basic, but you need it. Um, baby wipes for personal hygiene. I keep it in my day pack. In case I need personal hygiene. Um, uh, polypropylene gloves. Um, I usually use these when my hands are cold. They're normally enough. However, I also keep these waterproof um, and very warm gloves. Um, you know, for when it's when, when the hands are because that, those things there are fine until they get wet. Then your hands are freezing. So I, I use those as well. And that's what I keep in the, the, the summit pack. Uh, works well for me. I know I can just take it off the lid of the pack, strap it around my waist um, and go for a walk somewhere and I've got everything I need, well, I should need in a survival situation. Um, no tent there of course, but can't take everything. So um, yeah, so that's nice and handy to, to do it that way for me.